How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis and we've got a new developer blog from the Old School Runescape team. This is for the Jewel Arena changes. It's been over a year since the Old School Runescape team made some changes to the Jewel Arena, mostly to prevent things like scamming and, you know, make it a much more enjoyable experience of using the Jewel Arena. Now, they want to go ahead and introduce a few more features, including new Jewel options and new Jewel interfaces. This should once again make it easier to use the Jewel Arena and reduce scamming in the Jewel Arena. So let's start off by having a look at the new Jewel options. These new Jewel Arena options are mostly there to combat some scamming issues they've seen at the Jewel Arena. Let's have a look at the display inventories. Like any option in the Jewel Arena, the display inventories option is something that both of you have to choose before entering the Jewel. If you go into a Jewel with the display inventories toggled on, you'll be able to see all of the items in your opponent's inventory and they'll be able to see all the items in yours. The advantage of this is you can actually see what you're up against. If you are going into a fight with, say, Dragon Daggers, you'll be able to see if your opponent has another weapon that they've got ready, just in case that they don't agree with using the Dragon Dagger. Hopefully this option will add a bit more trust into the Jewel Arena, because you'll be able to look at each of his inventories and say, okay, right, I know what, exactly what you've got in your inventory, you know exactly what I've got in my inventory, we can have a fair fight. The next Jewel Arena option will be No Weapon Switching. The No Weapon Switching option seems fairly self-explanatory. When you go into a Jewel, the weapon you're wielding is the one you're stuck with. You're not allowed to change it at all. This can reduce certain scams that they've seen, such as the Haster Scam. Many players go into, say, a Whip Stake, and then the player that they're fighting all of a sudden is wielding a Haster. It has more defensive bonuses than the Whip, and, you know, it's a decent weapon, so it completely changes the dynamic of that fight. If you've got the no weapon switching option on, then that means if you go into a fight with a whip, then you are restricted to only using the whip, which will be really good for people that are boxing with just specific weapons, and, you know, you won't have people switching out. This, combined with the display inventories option, will pretty much mean that when you go into a fight, the majority of the scams that you see at the Jewel Arena are just useless, and people won't be able to take advantage of them. As well as those two new dueling options, they want to introduce new challenge screens. The new challenge screens will hopefully make it a lot easier to get into a game. Currently, it's a bit of a mess when you are trying to get into a game. There's two screens that you have to go through, one's where you decide everything, and the other one's just confirmation. They want to introduce a third screen and sort of split up a lot of the information so it's easier to go through and you're not going to get confused when you're trying to start a duel. So if you want to start a duel, what's the first screen that's going to greet you? It's going to be the duel option screen. Now this is quite self-explanatory. This is the screen where you choose all the options for the duel. You can choose what's allowed and disallowed. For example, you get all the options such as no range, melee, magic, special attacks, fun weapons, etc. You'll also get to choose which item slots are allowed in the duel. So, for example, you can say no helmets at all. This is also where you'll choose your presets, save your presets, and load the last duel if you want. As well as that, they'd like to add the option of seeing combat stats of your opponent. So here in this image, we can see the attack, defense, hit points, prayer, strength, magic, and range levels of Mad Mazzy, as well as the combat level, which I believe you can already see at the moment. This will allow you to really gauge who you're fighting and actually get the rules that you want for the duel. After you've chosen your duel options, you will then move on to the inventories and stake options. This screen will have a view on your opponent, so you'll be able to see their inventory and their worn items interface. This will really allow you to engage what your opponent's got, and then you can actually see what the actual stake is you're trying to fight for. So for example, here we can see that they've got full void in their inventory, and you might think they might be pulling out the void when you're in a fight with them. So you can adjust your stake accordingly to what you see in their inventory, as well as their worn interface. The third and final screen will be the confirmation screen. This is very similar to the current confirmation screen. You'll see what your stake is, and you'll see all the dual options that you chose in the first screen. But seeing as you've already taken quite a bit of time to go through the first two screens, hopefully this third screen will just be a quick confirmation of the things you've already agreed upon. So really, introducing this third screen is just a way of making sure it's a lot easier to get into your fight. Obviously the huge downside is it's going to take a lot longer to get into the fights that you want. Personally for me, I mean I don't use the jewelry too much, however I'm fine with this. Going through the jewelry at the moment 
or at least for someone that doesn't go there a lot, it's a bit of a pain to have to go through a really cluttered screen and then confirm what you've done. If you have got a nice two easy screens that I can go through before I confirm everything, then I'll be so much happier. And hopefully this would reduce a lot of scamming happening at the jewelry, which is, let's be honest, I mean, it's reduced significantly since the changes they made a year ago, but it's still rife. And I think with these changes, it will be a much safer and enjoyable experience at the jewelry. And, you know, I might be encouraged to go there a little bit more. I imagine we'll be getting a poll on these changes very soon, and I can't imagine them not passing. Potentially the screens might struggle because some people want just two quick screens they can go through to get into their jewels. However, I don't think there's any major issues with those screens, and the new jewel options are, again, very easy things to just toggle on, and they will help anyone at the jewel arena. If you're interested in the jewel arena and you want to get your feedback to the old school rescue team about these changes, make sure you do so on the forums, Reddit, etc. wherever you can get the old school rescue team. If you want to discuss the changes with me, please do so in my comments below. Click here if you want to watch my video on the latest old school rescue update, the Elder Weapons Beta and Barbarian Assault. And if you want to watch my video on the previous old school rescue developer block, please click here for Raid Rewards 3. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep up to date with the old school rooms, give updates, dev blogs, and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.